Okay, so right now I'm outside the Museum of Popular, Popular Cultures, which is a museum dedicated to the indigenous cultures of Mexico. And um, there's this piece of art right at the entrance. It's very beautiful. And um, yeah, I just wanted to do this walk to show you in more detail, kind of like what the architecture looks like. Uh, yeah, this is what the inside of the museum looks like. Um, there's a lot of people. Yeah, I mean, there are a lot of different museums in this area that you definitely can enjoy. And you can also see how kind of like there's this mixture of like modern cafes, but also and, and modern structures, but also these structures that are more like antique. And, uh, and yeah, I guess that's what makes Coyoacan kind of like vibrant in a sense um, there's also um, they just recently opened this uh, new mall that is called Mitica uh, it's it's a huge mall and uh, yeah it was actually very controversial because they had to chop down a bunch of trees and uh, it cost a lot of money and then like people are worried that it's gentrifying uh, the neighborhood of, of Shoko which uh, which is a very traditional neighborhood as well, which is actually walking distance from here. Uh, but yeah, I mean, this new mall that they opened, that it's called Mitica, um, it's very modern and it's a new, I think it's, yeah, definitely the newest in the city. And uh, well, also um, the tallest building in the city is situated right there, which is an apartment building. So, I mean, that kind of sucks, but like, uh, it's still kind of far from here, so like, uh, I'm glad that the charm of this neighborhood is still maintained. Uh, actually, something that I found that it's very funny, it's like, uh, these signs that are, uh, indicating the names of the streets, they have a small coyote on them, so I think that's very, <laughs> very cute. But, um, yeah, I'm currently on my way to to Cafe El Jarocho and I just wanted to to show you what this cafe is like it's actually really good they sell donuts they sell coffee and um, and yeah and I also wanted to you know make a uh, good use of this time on my walk there uh, to show you kind of like the architecture of the houses in the area so I'm pretty sure these are apartments and um, and yeah, I mean, this is what it looks like. Right now, like, we're one block away from the main core of Coyoacán. And you can see how, like, the amount of people and noise has decreased dramatically. Uh, there's uh, not as much people anymore, not as much noise. But uh, you can see the houses are, like, some houses are very modern. Some are older, like that one there. Uh, but yeah, in general. It's a quiet neighborhood, uh, which is actually one of the things I like about this place. So like, um, there are different neighborhoods in, in Mexico City, as you probably know. And I would say Coyoacan is amongst my favorites. I don't think it's my favorite just because, you know, it has lost this charm, uh, like it has become very gentrified. And, and look, that that wall over there has these sticks actually because uh, this wall got uh, affected during the earthquake. So there's a big crack there. So these sticks are supporting the weight of the wall. Um, so, so yeah, I mean, that's, one of the things that kind of suck about Mexico City, like there's a lot of earthquakes and there was, there has been two years with a very big earthquake happening, well, three years now, with a very big earthquake happening on the exact same day, which is September 19th. Uh, on September 19th, we usually have a drill. Uh, yeah, just, just so that people can know how to react in these circumstances. But, um, but yeah, it's funny because 
1985 and then in, in 2017 and then uh, just this year uh, there have been three major earthquakes on that exact same date which is too much of a coincidence and <laughs> and it actually it actually has made people um, say that uh, yeah remember Salvador Dalí who, who was a famous Spanish artist who famously said he couldn't live in Mexico because he couldn't stand to, to live in a place that's more surrealistic than him look that's another construction of this old um, I like these kind of buildings because I believe those are the buildings that give personality to a neighborhood but um but yeah this is what the neighborhood looks like and uh right now i'm gonna i'm gonna make a pause so that i can take a look at, at the map and then uh i'm gonna see you in a little bit at the cafe okay so i am almost at the cafe it turns out that that old building that i was showing you earlier over there is it's in school and uh yeah I, i'm just almost at the cafe and which is actually uh back in the main core of the city so well not the city the neighborhood and uh yeah i just wanted to show you like these houses because i think they're nice so there's that blue house that resembles frida's and then um it's a big restaurant. It's a, it's an Italian restaurant. I mean, I love Italian food. I just don't think an Italian restaurant belongs in here. So I mean, and then this is another church, actually, or, or no, it's not a church. Oh yes, it's a church. It's sunny because it's closed. see people on the streets I mean where Coyacan gets its charm from is definitely the people who are around and like all of these people selling stuff on the streets I mean that's where Coyacan gets its charm from um, it's a uh, it's sad because it's actually a very historical neighborhood but I think a lot of it has become um, just too crowded to, to be able to enjoy it so you can see how people are just like drinking their coffee there and actually I'm going to have a coffee and uh, I think cornbread. So that's a menu there. So I'm gonna make my order right now. Buenas tardes. Disculpa, este, ¿me, da, ¿me puedes dar un capuchino, por favor? Caliente. Ah, caliente, con, no un pan de lote. Capuchino chivo, adelante, una de lote. Sí, ¿Algo vamos a pagar con tarjeta? 45.50, joven. Sí. Gracias. 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 The coffee. I'm just waiting for mine. I ordered the cappuccino and cornbread, and it's actually not expensive. It was um, it was only like like three dollars, and uh, this is the most traditional place. That's it.
So it looks like this. Okay, so I just finished with the coffee. I still have a little bit. Uh, but now I'm on my way to show you the the market. So the traditional market of Coyacan. It's if you want to get um, good piece of corn <laughs> in Mexico City, you definitely have to come to Coyoacan. Um, the best corn of the city, I would say, is here. And the best esquites, which is just like, it's a piece of corn and then they chop off the, the corn grains and then um, they season the grains and they sell the grains in a cup. Or, or a leaf. I'm um, gonna. You know, there they sell um, um, sausages, and then there they sell this bread, which is made out of corn and uh, and milk, uh, chips. Uh, so this is a restaurant right here. Um, it's, it's a very traditional restaurant like a very typical, not traditional that's what I meant and then uh, hats shoes a 7-eleven right here um, so yeah, I mean Koyaka is definitely for those who enjoy the hustle and bustle of a lot of people being around all the time. Actually, uh, there is uh, in this plaza right here. There is um, kind of like a, kind of like um, like a market, a little market where people sell all kinds of stuff. And um, I didn't tell you how was the coffee. The coffee is. Uh, someone made some art here. So. So yeah, I mean the coffee. It was good. It wasn't amazing, but it was good. And the thing about the coffee is that you can enjoy it while you are walking. It's actually very hot right now, so. It's funny because my, my coffee is hot, but it doesn't matter. I still like coffee and, and I'm having a cappuccino, which isn't something you're supposed to do unless it's breakfast time. But, but yeah, it was good. It is good. It has been, it has been a long time since the last time I had a good coffee and, and just, uh, the feeling of enjoying a good coffee while being on a walk it's something that yeah you can you can get you can't get anywhere there are some very specific places that are enjoyable to be walking while drinking coffee and, and Coyoacan is definitely one of them uh, I mean the other thing I don't like about Coyoacan is that a lot of places don't take credit cards or, or debit cards or like <laughs> stuff like that so so yeah I mean if you are going to be around this area cash is king and, uh, so this is the main market this one right here is the main market and and there's they sell all sorts of different stuff there it has been a long time since the last time I came here I think I think I was still in university and I mean that that's not too long ago but but yeah I mean definitely sometime from now like like three or four years so like here here's for souvenirs 
and then there they sell corn as well that corn looks great and uh, yeah I'm, I'm gonna get inside in a minute I'm just gonna turn around for that yeah so I'm gonna switch the camera so you can take another look at the corn so there are lots lots of souvenirs art popular art Costumes for Halloween. Flowers. More costumes. Here they sell candles and that sort of stuff. Flowers. And then uh, the food court. But, but yeah, like I said, sadly I don't have a lot of cash with me right now. So, so yeah, I mean, um, I can't eat here. They sell mole there. It's a very big market. Here they sell tacos, tortas. Hola mis amigos, muy buenos días. Van a comer, ¿cómo se gusta ver? Quesadillas, sopes, tacos, burritos, guaraches. Burritos. And then here they sell produce, which I love because if you enjoy cooking like I do, then places that, that sell good produce are wonderful. Tostadas, pata, tinga de pollo. Pata is actually. Oh, and they actually take cards here, so I might, I might have one. So, so look, they have all of these different flavors. One second. <laughs> 